Habari, it's Aka Chando Tatsumaki. Today, I'm about to do another Walking Nostalgia episode, mostly on Bleach Soul Resurrection for PS3. Um, uh, it was around 2015, give or take, when I first got this game. And uh, more or less, I was thinking when I was in the GameStop when I got it, I was like, whoa, shoot, it's a Bleach game. I didn't know about it. It's, I didn't know it was a Bleach game for the PS3, and uh, there it was right in front of my eyes. So, of course, you know, I, <laughs> the first thing I did was pick it up. Um, uh, and miraculously, and what I'm surprised with, this is literally actually, this is literally actually the only Bleach game that came on they came on PS3, as well as this also being the being the only uh, uh, merchandise of Bleach that I got, aside from, of course, if you count J-Star, but in other words, this is literally actually the only uh, Bleach uh, merchandise that I own, so I keep it really dear to me. Uh, uh, it mostly surrounds mostly around the, the, the Aronco arc, and uh, uh, more, more or less, it got up to at least, I'm pretty sure, 30 characters, 30 or more characters uh, around that around that Pacific art. Not counting Kokuto, because he's from uh, Bleach Hellverse. But still, yeah, mostly surrounds the, uh, the wrong call art. Play up to 20, 30 characters. Uh, pretty much, this is literally... Aside from this, literally only being only uh, Bleach merchandise I got, is hands down actually kind of one of my favorite games that I got. Um, uh, more or less, more or less, it's plays like a, your really standard uh, Muso. Plays like your really standard Muso, like uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam or Dynasty Warriors or Fist of the North Star. Plays like a really standard Muso game. So right off the back in gameplay, that's pretty much what you got. And on some occasions it gets pretty repetitive, but still, it's it's a Musou game all the same. Pirate Warriors, Fist of the North Star, you know, yeah. But still, the whole point of the whole real actually a uh, big picture of it is that I actually enjoyed this. I actually did enjoy this game, even for its minuscule uh, uh, quality, um, uh, and. Right, and actually, currently, aside from past uh, Bleach games, this is actually my favorite one. Uh, if you also count Brave Souls, but I don't really have a working phone right now. I'll leave it as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, uh, and pretty much, yeah, more, more or less, more or less, if you, more or less, this is a Brave Souls if you cut down the characters and cut down the RPG-ish elements. Uh, so my overall rating for it is, of course, a whopping exceptional. I mean, people may have not liked it much because of its minuscule quality, but, uh, honestly, I wish there could be more to the game, but for what it was, it was still pretty good. Hell, it's a Bleach game. I can't turn down a Bleach game or anything for that Bleach related. I grew up on that anime. Um... Uh, it was created by Miss America, and on the front cover, I pre it, well, it looks like Taikubo drew it himself, or it's probably the publishers, but it looks like like Taikubo drew it himself. But pretty much on the front cover, as you can plainly see, it's uh, Final Ichigo when he was when he uh, prepped to this state so he can fight Aizen. Uh It's T rated. And uh, you get to play with a with a sizable amount of both of Ron Carr and Soul Reaper characters, including Udi or Quincy. But more or less, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. It brings me back, and it's pretty much one of the many uh, anime games I have in my possession. Uh, subscribe and like. Uh, and honestly, actually, uh, Walking Nostalgia is probably actually my favorite segment of my channel.